What's up everyone? Welcome back to another Empire Motor Club vlog. Today, Ryan and I will be discussing with you our thoughts on a bunch of cars. I just felt like maybe because it's 2020, a new decade, I wanted to have some change. I've been driving Porsches for a long time. I've been toying with some different ideas and this vlog I'm going to share with you my whole entire thought process as well as Ryan's. I was gonna have a little surprise for you guys at the end. So, let me, take me through your thought process when you got the 488. Were you looking at any other cars? Because this will go into what I want to reveal to you guys later on. I came down to two cars. You know, it was okay. either this car or the 48. You know what I'm saying? Okay. But at the time, when I was looking for the 48, which this story also ties into why this is cool, okay? Is because when I, at the time when I was looking for the cars, that movie Ford versus Ferrari had just came out, you know? Yeah. And the car that I saw that I, that got the guy that at um, you know, Nerva Room was gonna give me a pretty good deal on is the red on red. But I was a little bit like, oh man, you know? The, the red <laughs> on red is a little bit. It's, it's, but it grows on you. It grows on you. And then, but I watched the Ford versus Ferrari movie, right? And then I realized that that red has been winning in racing since. You know, like, I don't even know when, like seven years ago, eight it, years ago. It's you know? heritage. It's heritage. And heritage, it's always history, been... and it's and it's the image that, and it's that, that you tie together. It's that red. On that red interior. Yes. You know, you look at the F40s, you know, a lot of the F40s have red interior, you know, because that's just kind of like the iconic look. So as soon as I watched that movie, I decided, all right, you know, heritage, bro. In racing, I think these two names are, they're it. You know, there's nothing. In terms of history and heritage, I believe that Definitely Ferrari. I think Porsche's up there as Por well. Porsche's up there. And this other brand. Okay, so we'll give them another tip. Uh, this car was named after uh, he, he was the driver that beat Ken Miles in the Le Mans, that kept Ken Miles from winning the Triple Crown. Yep. Uh, that's as obvious as it can get. Yeah, I can't get any more obvious than that. Yeah. So. And, uh, but yeah, I'm super excited, man. I, and I think the option, I can't wait, dude, dog. Yeah, I can't options. wait to show everyone. I really can't, I really can't wait to show you guys. Um, all right, I'm getting a McLaren. Okay. All right, I said, I'm, I'm getting a McLaren. Um, and to be honest with you guys, I never thought I would be getting a McLaren. It was never really an option for me because I think I was influenced by Ryan ever since we were kids. He's He's been like the biggest Ferrari guy. He calls himself Ferrari. I do, I <laughs> Ferrari. do. Ferrari. Um, but because of him, I really started to love Ferrari. I took the time, and he knows, I took the time to go to Lamborghini in Taipei to test drive the 580 rear wheel drive as well as the Huracan 610, you know, but I didn't like it enough. That was just my personal taste, my personal opinion. Well, you know what, man? I actually think Lamborghinis are like the first real supercar. You know what I'm saying? It's like that the design of it, you know, made, yeah. made you like, oh my God, right? Yeah. But, but like, you know, it's just, it's a, like you said, uh, some, some, some people like that yeah. really loud. Um, yeah. Some people and then, like a little bit more refined. And I think McLarens are a little bit more refined. Exactly. They were loud because of their design, their color, the, the doors, maybe the doors, you know what I'm saying? the doors, and the clientele. Yeah. And um, but but it, you know if you if you look into it, like McLaren is the heritage is just it's unmatched. You know? they, exactly. These guys are you know so been race, in racing since. Yeah. And then Ryan is really into these things, and he studies a lot. You know, he's always reading books, watching documentaries, so he's always updating me on everything he's learning. So it made me become more saturated with McLaren knowledge. And that's what kind of turned the page for me because I was like, hey, you know, even if Ferrari diehard can accept respect and respect and want to even look at buying a McLaren, I should do the same, you know? So that's brotherly love, you know? So I, I was like, hey, if, if my brother is into it, then I should be looking at it as well. And oh, you're gonna love it, man. you know, and, you're and love it. If, you, if you want to look at the, the, the history of it, right? This is a very, very young car company. It is. It's, it's 10 it's years old, 10 years 15 old. years yeah. old, I don't yeah. know. Like, and they've been around for a long time. Well, the newer McLaren model. Yeah, McLaren F1 was every gearhead's dream car. Yeah. You know what I'm saying, with the center drive, you know, that thing was like, when, when we were kids, right, that was just, but it was so far beyond, it was unreachable for us, yeah. you know what I'm saying? So with this car, McLaren Taiwan, they gave me a very good deal. I can't tell you guys what kind of deal, but they gave me a very, very good deal 
deal good enough where it made me feel safe, secure about having the car for a couple of years. I mean, um, this car, it, it's like a baby LT. This 570S is not just any 570S. It is decked out and it's optioned the fuck out. The 2019 model year and it's got 1,000 km on it. Jeez. It's got 1,000 km on it. It is a certified You, you can't even drive it fast. Yeah, you have to so break it in I gotta break it in. So it's a certified pre-owned from McLaren Taiwan. I got lucky. I'm super happy Ryan's here today to share my joy with you guys. Let's stop okay. talking. Without further ado, <laughs> let's show you guys. Okay, let's, let's go. Let's yeah, go see. Let's this do car. this. Let me take you guys to the VIP room. Oh, shit. Hey, Ambrose. Hey. Oh, that is my McLaren right there. But before, I'm gonna need the keys. Ambrose. 谢谢谢谢谢谢 um, Let me introduce you guys This is Ambrose, Mr. Hong If you guys are looking for a McLaren He's the man, he helped me out with everything Look for Ambrose My keys, yes Oh man, he's so pretty It's a work of art bro, check this out My McLaren key My first McLaren ever uh, I, I want to see it too This is. Yeah, let, let, oh, let's see this Are you ready? But we gotta get over this. Yes. Let's go. All right. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's the white one. It's the white one. Check out the ring. Oh, shit. <laughs> okay, that's pretty sick. This is my McLaren. <laughs> I can't believe it. I think this, you'd never get. Uh, never, never gets old. <laughs> never gets old. This is, this never gets cool old. factor. Cool factor. I'm ten. I mean, you see that smile right here? See that smile? I feel cool. I feel cool because I have these doors. <laughs> no, this is uh, this is incredible. I'm, I, I'm I'm happy. I'm a little bit. I, I can't. I can't. I can't say anything right now. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Say. I got the track pack. Um, six point harness. Look at these seat belts. I'm ready to race. Track use only. And uh, I got, you know, carbon fiber trim, carbon fiber steering wheel, carbon fiber paddles. Oh man, carbon fiber center console. This is really dope. This is so cool. I feel like, I feel like a track star. I feel like a road racer. Your wife's gonna be pissed. Because he's gonna be pissed about these seat belts. I told him to take the normal seat belts off. <laughs> Awesome. This is, this is, like, awesome this is like guys go crazy yeah. over this type of shit. Yeah, you know I'm, what I'm saying? Look, look at this fucking smile. <laughs> I don't know why. Like, I'm going to leave out like right away. All right, hey, I'm going to start the car. All right. Yeah. So there is an active button right here. That is active, so this could be either sport or track. So it's this sport, this track. Obviously, we want to be in track. This is kind of dope. But that is regular sport, and then when it's in track mode, dude, that is so cool. One of the options that I selected to have uh, is this MSO HDK carbon fiber wing. It's made by McLaren Special Operations. This is a very expensive option. This is full carbon fiber. It creates an extra about 75 kg of downforce. This wing is perfect on this car and it's just so beautiful. Um, obviously, you know, you can't take the lid off, you can only see the engine from here. I know that this comes up, but this is only like the water and the oil. Yeah, these wheels, um, lightweight, optioned wheels, forged, but I'm gonna change the wheels anyway. These wheels, although they look gorgeous, I chose something a little bit cooler. I am going to order some parts. I'm not gonna tell you what yet. This is going to be a really dope and insane project. However, this has to go. Uh, Line innovation is coming very soon. What really, really made me fall in love with this car is the design of the headlights and the rear taillights. This McLaren logo right here 
It's just so innovative. It's so creative. And I, I love the design. Yeah, I, you can see the design from the headlights to the rear tail lights. I'm in love with this and I love the black and white combo because I, I, I'm just speechless right now. I don't know what to say. I love these doors. And yeah, if you can tell, see, this is so cool. The air kind of just flows through here all the way to the inlet hole right here. And you guys remember, my 997 had a big inlet hole. This is pretty big too. This is awesome. The air just flows through here. It goes all the way panels back into the engine bay. You can see the rear roll cage. The roll cage is so Thank you. Look at this thing. Thank you. Oh, this damn. So Look at this thing. Look at this yeah. thing. So we, okay. hey, we gotta we gotta make a run for the uh 570S and the 480. Yeah, for sure. You know, I mean, it, I think the power output is similar. How much? Uh, is it? no. This is like 570. Okay. Well, I'm like 100 100 horsepower. Yeah, you have 100 horsepower more. So but I, I think, think yours are easy. Okay. Well, he's gonna do a bunch of stuff to it. I bet. So we shall see. Um, yeah. Excited for you, brother. And Thank uh, you. you know, all you people at home, stay vigilant. Uh, stay healthy. Okay. <laughs> yes. Safety first, I just wanted to share my joy with you guys and share a new experience. This is a new decade and hey, I'm gonna, gonna, I'm gonna go for a drive. I'm gonna, gonna go, go for a drive, drive. Okay. so okay. enough talk. Keep watching the Empire Motor Club vlog. Hit that like button, comment, let me know what you think about this spec. Share with all your friends. Please, stay tuned. We'll see you next time. Peace. I'm gonna go for a drive. So we got the door closed. I'm gonna have to learn how to use this infotainment system. I think it's called Iris. Iris infotainment system. I'm not sure how to use this thing yet, but everything is touch screen. Um... <laughs> Woo! Yeah, this is, this is awesome. It's a very different feeling. I'm very, very lucky. I'm very fortunate. I am very, very lucky. But this makes me want to work even harder. So, yeah, guys, keep chasing your dreams, keep working hard, keep that focus on. You gotta do what you gotta do.